Okay, here's my kale soup. Oh, full of veggies. I love it. Hopefully everyone else will too. And I think it's seasoned well. So we're almost done. I'm Amy, Amy Roloff. Welcome to my little kitchen. I am getting ready to make minestrone soup. And I consider minestrone soup kind of like a vegetarian or non-meat, lots of vegetables in it. And the one thing I love about this soup, it's really about what you put in it. Cause you can put in anything you want. So I've got a lot going on with this soup. I've got Molly and Joel here visiting. We're gonna have Jacob, Izzy, and their new baby here. And so we're gonna make, I'm gonna make veg, uh, minestrone soup, and we're gonna have a good, um, good bread with it too. I might put a little garlic on it, a little butter and garlic on a rosemary artisan bread. So anyway, this is all about soup night because it's winter time, it's cold. We just had some snow here and it is slowly melting away, but it's been a good kind of, Weather-wise, I think, being uh, grown up in Michigan and having snow, it was kind of fun to have snow for about a week, especially at our level. So anyway, what am I putting in this minestrone soup? But like I said, you can pretty much put anything you want. Because I've got most uh, 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 Molly and Joel, uh, they eat meat, but they're kind of vegetarians too or whatever. Uh, they don't have meat every day, just like me. Uh, Jacob and Izzy are definitely vegetarians or vegan. And so I'm gonna use uh, vegetable broth in this soup. I am going to use like, what size is this? Um, a full can, so 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. I think I'm gonna add in a 14 ounce can of tomato sauce. We'll see if I need any tomato paste. I like cooking a lot of my vegetables before I put it in the soup, saute them just to kind of um, take out the raw taste of vegetables, for instance, like carrots. So I have about two to three carrots in here. And the great thing about this soup is that you can expand it if you got a lot of people or you can decrease the amount of ingredients you have depending on just the two of you or, um, you know, a few more people. I am gonna go ahead and make some chicken with this because Chris likes meat and so he'll want some protein in that. So I'm gonna saute up some chicken. But this is basically my version of a minestrone soup. I'm even gonna put up some potatoes in there, obviously. I didn't get a big enough bowl, but I went ahead and chopped all of this ahead of time. But I've got, um, I think these are white potatoes or gold uh, Yukon uh, potatoes. I like these potatoes because they hold up a little bit better than a russic potatoes, which can get really, really soft. So I like using white potatoes or like Yukon or gold potatoes. And there's about three of them here, I think. I have one onion chopped. I have about, I don't know, a cup or more of just kind of quartered mushrooms. I've got a little bit of red pepper, oops, red pepper and green pepper in here. About a half, if you want a, a whole pepper of each, red and um, green, you know, feel free, but I have about a half. Uh, these were small zucchini, so I have about two zucchinis chopped up in here. I'm gonna even put in some kale, and that'll be towards the end, but I definitely want the flavors of the soup to kind of break down the kale a little bit too. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, I do have some celery. Where did my celery go? Oh, here's my celery. <laughs> I do have some celery chopped up in here. So the things that I'm gonna saute over here, uh, just with a little bit of olive oil, maybe a little bit of salt, are definitely my potatoes. Cause I definitely like want that. I think just more flavor in your vegetables come out when you saute them. And, you know, kind of brown them a little bit. I'm not gonna, cook them to the point where they're edible. I'm gonna cook them to the point where they're just a little bit soft, just so you can, you know, uh, put a fork in it 
and then the rest of it's gonna cook within the broth, within the tomatoes and stuff like that. Oh yeah, the other thing, I'm also gonna put in a can of corn, a can of red kidney beans, and a can of, you can use uh, navy, these are, can, can I pronounce this? Kelna, oh my God, canna, can, cannellini? Can, cannellini? Oh brother, white beans. Um, I'm gonna put a can of white beans in there. You can use Old Navy or whatever you want. Um, I'm not gonna put lentils in here because that's a whole different kind of bean type of thing. I wanted some bigger chunks in this. Uh, I think that is about it. So today we're making minestrone soup in Amy Roloff's little kitchen. Oh yeah, if you haven't checked it out lately, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to it. You'll find a video and the recipes and all sorts of fun stuff. I've got some goals that I'm setting for myself in 2022. And um, I'm gonna do my best to get out some more recipes. That's what my team is uh, kind of pushing me to do. And I totally, totally agree with that. Push out some more recipes, just some other short little snippets of videos if you subscribe and and just some of my thoughts in the year. and and things like that. So whether you're an empty nester or a new mom, new family, soup goes a long way and it's awesome. Oh yeah, the other thing with minestrone. I think I did this for Jacob and Molly before. I might even, no, I've got potatoes in there. I was gonna say, you can put a little bit of pasta in it too. I do have potatoes, but I might go ahead and put in just a little bit of pasta, but it's those little pasta. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, let's see what happens. Let's come on over to the stove. Okay. So I have my carrots and, um, whoa. I have my carrots and potato stock came in here. I added a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and just add just a little thyme. And the reason I'm doing this, is because I also want the vegetables, a little bit of oregano, I want the vegetables to also have some of that flavoring when we start incorporating everything into this big pot here, if you can see that. My dried, if I had fresh, I would get fresh. But my little rosemary plant out in my garden is pretty small. So I have dried rosemary here, but I wanna crush them a little bit. They're a little bit, um, uh, what, what do you call it, the leaves, the needles of it, are a little bit much. So I just want to crush. So I'm just using a pedestal, pe not a pedestal, oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm using this device to kind of just crush up the rosemary a little bit. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on with the carrots and the potatoes. And... After I saute these a little bit, then I'll do the um, onions, green pepper, and mushroom, and celery. Okay, maybe just a little more olive oil. The other seasonings I'm gonna add in here too are thyme and a little, and a little bay leaf as this cooks for a little bit. So these are almost done. Like I said, I don't want them, you know, soft, soft. I think I might just put a little lid over here. That'll help have them cook a little quicker. Is this a big enough lid? Yeah, that's big enough. So in the meantime, as, that, as the potatoes and the carrots finish up cooking, I'm hoping you can see this big pan. Yeah. I've got one carton of vegetable broth in here. And we're gonna go ahead and add in the can of cannelli beans. One can of corn. One can of red kidney beans. Oh, these are light red kidneys. I should have probably gotten dark. And then we're gonna add in the 128 can of crushed tomatoes. Um, 
think I'm going to add in a little bit of juice here so we can see. I like getting everything. Whoa. I like getting everything out of the can. Because <laughs> there's a lot of goodness left in there. We'll give this a little stir. Oh yeah, this is good. In fact, I might add in another can of beans, but let's wait till we add everything in here and see. See what else we may need. Um, I might add in a can of tomato sauce, but I also don't want it to make this like minestrone tomato soup or whatever you want to call it. Um, tell you the truth, I wonder why it's called minestrone. I would call this pretty much a vegetable soup. I'll have to look that up for you guys. Minestrone, what does that mean? Uh, let's see, I think, let's test this out. Oh yeah, these are good. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna turn this oven off. I'm gonna turn a burner on here and we are going to go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and scoop all of this into the soup. So the potatoes and the carrots are gonna go in here. Sorry, I would do, do this a little more gracefully, but I have the camera on the wrong side because using my left hand, my right hand, and the pan is big and heavy. Put all those seasonings in there. We'll give this a mix. Oh yeah, this is good. Like I said, I'm going to wait till we have everything in here before I go ahead and add in some more vegetable broth and tomato sauce. So this is already has a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna add just a tad more. I definitely will add in a little more seasonings. I just wanted a little bit, but I would say at least a teaspoon of each. And because I'm gonna start this off on simmer as I continue to cook the other vegetables, I'm gonna stick in one little bay leaf in here. Tomatoes and bay leaf, I don't know, just sounds like a good combo. And so I think that's it for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish cooking up the rest of the veggies. There we go, I'm just gonna Put that on simmer for now. And we're gonna put a lid on this. So I hope you can see it. See all the veggies in there? I'll get a better picture for you. But this is minestrone soup at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. Here we go. Okay, let's load everything else in here. Put a little more olive oil in here for the rest of the vegetables. I'm gonna start off with the mushrooms and I'm not gonna add any salt in here because I want to, I want to um, just kind of saute these. I don't want them to kind of release all their waters yet. So basically, I'm going to try and brown them. And there might be a little bit salt left in the pan from doing the other veggies. Hi, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are enjoying it. And I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to it. And oh, don't forget to click that little bell up there and you'll be notified of future videos that are new and coming on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for that. And I would really appreciate it if you shared the video and let other people know and encourage them to subscribe and like the videos as well. So anyway, thank you and back to the video. So we have soup kind of simmering here. Got the potatoes, the carrots, the beans, and the potatoes and not the onions yet. We have crushed tomatoes, 
vegetable broth in here. And we're doing the mushrooms over here. And soon I will add in the peppers, the onions, the celery, as well as garlic. And not forget the garlic. Okay, we've got our mushrooms kind of browning up here. They're all done, so I'm gonna add this to the big soup pot. The other night I made my chicken tortilla soup that you can find over at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen as well. And so minestrone, a little bit more olive oil on here. I love it because we're using the same pan. We're gonna saute these onions a little bit. Like I said, I like doing this because it takes out the rawness of the vegetables besides just plopping everything in here and cooking it. If you did a crock pot, this is great. You know, just dump everything in a crock pot and have it simmer over time. You've got a lot of those flavors that'll work together um, in the hours that you're cooking in a crock pot. But if I'm doing it this way, I definitely like to saute my vegetables a little bit. Turn this up a little bit. Boy, it's such a pretty color in there. Oops, there's one little onion I forgot to kind of get into smaller chunks. Now, one thing about the vegetables, I'm not chopping them up into little itty bitty pieces, but I did want to chop them up so they're bite-sized pieces so that you can um, kind of get a little bit of vegetable on a spoon, not just onions or peppers, but you may get a little bit of pepper in the beans and the corn or a mushroom. So I'm hoping that I cut these up fairly well. So I don't think we added any salt. I'm just gonna add in a little bit just to create some flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the garlic. Let that create some flavor in with these vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and just add in a little bit of oregano again. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of thyme. I didn't do that the last time because I forgot. A little bit of rosemary, but I'm gonna crush these up. A little bit like last time. It just feels like a soup kind of day out there. I don't know, casserole. what is it about casseroles and soup and just down home cooking during the winter time? Now for those of you that live in the South, I don't know, maybe it's something else for you. I'd love to hear from you guys that do not live in the Midwest, like Minnesota, the Dakotas, and Montana, and Michigan, and Wisconsin, and Missouri, Iowa, Idaho. Some of you guys are East Coast. Some of you that live on the more Southern states, like Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, all of that. What kind of dinners do you make during the winter time? Because I'm assuming that for the most part, it's still, to us, kind of warm down there. So anyway, that'd be kind of fun to know. So we're just gonna saute these a little bit just so they become just a tad soft. I'm gonna put the lid back on here. Let that continue to cook a little bit. I'm just hoping I have enough vegetables in here. I mean, it definitely looks like a lot, but we'll see. I might go ahead and add in another can of white beans and kidney beans. I can already feel the onions here are getting soft. We're just gonna cook this for a little bit longer before we add it to the pot. 
Here are the onions and the green pepper, red peppers, and a little bit of garlic and a little bit of herbs, seasonings that are cooking over here. And we have the soup simmering over here. I was stirring the mushrooms. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna hopefully let this cook for about an hour. But we're cooking minestrone soup. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my onions, garlic, peppers into the big pot. You guys can see this, I hope. Get all of that herbs and garlic out of there. And then we're just gonna stir this up some more. Definitely think I'm gonna need another Another container. Oops, look at all this. We got some of my onions in here. We're gonna go ahead to this, add just a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and add in the, um, no, I must have already added in the celery. Huh. I didn't even know that. Oh dear. Well, I did add in the celery. So we're gonna go ahead and add in the zucchini here, finish that up and I think for the most part, besides the kale, the kale I'll add in maybe about 15 minutes before I'm ready to serve it. So the kale is still a little bit green and leafy and it hasn't wilt wilted totally. Well, I probably definitely could add in another zucchini here. I'm just gonna do that a little bit here. This won't take long for the zucchini. And then I'm gonna add in one more can of red kidney beans and white beans, because I think I need to bulk it up a little bit. Okay, I did go ahead and add in a little bit more of the uh, vegetable broth. So probably about, because each one of these is about four cups. So I added one container so that's four plus two more cups. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a can of tomato sauce. And then I'm just gonna put in a little bit of vegetable broth just to kind of get the rest of that tomato sauce out of there. There we go. Instead of water, use your broth. And because I already had this can of tomato paste open, it's about a half a can, I'm just gonna scoop that in there. That'll just give it so much more richer flavor. And it'll really help that bay leaf too. And because the zucchinis are almost done, I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna set this aside over here. big pot of soup on this one just because it's closer. I'm going to put that on medium high until you slightly see a rumble of a boil. Then turn it down to simmer and just let it simmer. And let me get these cans out of the way. And so I'm going to go ahead and add in about a, I don't know, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of oregano. I already have the bay leaf in there. 
I'm gonna add in about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of thyme. And like I said, if you have fresh, I would probably double what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit more of the rosemary. Rosemary and tomato sauce, I don't know, just seems to work for me for this kind of soup. Rosemary on beef works well too. Or, you know, the roasted potatoes. I mean, rosemary is just a good. But you also have to remember, I think it's a, it's a little bit stronger herb than thyme or oregano and some of the other ones. So I'm just gonna just kind of break this up a little bit. Because it's dried already, so I'm hoping it looks like it's gonna break up easy. I can smell it, oh. Okay, I think that's about enough. And I would say for the rosemary, maybe just a half a teaspoon, because like I said, I think it's a stronger herb. And depending on what your flavorings are, will depend on. So I'm gonna let this simmer for a little bit. And I think I'm gonna add in the zucchini when I add the kale. So I'm gonna go back. Oh, what is this? Oh, my bay leaf. <laughs> I thought a foreign object. I would have added another can of corn in here, but Chris really doesn't like corn. But I have potatoes in here. I probably should have cut up a little bit more potatoes. So I might add in the really tiny um, pasta. You could, I'm not going to do mini, uh, you could do um, mini penne pasta or uh, it starts with a D. Daitani or something like that pasta. It, it, it's like a tube of pasta cut up in little pieces. So I might add some of that in here. I don't know, just because of flavor, just because of looks, just because of taste. Minestrone to soup, to me, is soup that just incorporates a lot of stuff. But I will take, taste it just a little bit. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, this is good. No more salt. No more salt needs to be added. Mmm, this is so good. I love using the vegetable broth over chicken or beef for minestrone soup. It really brings out a different kind of flavor. I'm just gonna add in just a little more thyme. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for a while. Put the lid on it. And let it go. There's the zucchini over there that will be added a little bit later because I didn't want the zucchini to turn to mush. But look at all of that. Oh, when we add the kale in there, it's gonna be great. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start finishing up the soup. So I'm gonna put a little bit of kale in there and I'm using the curly kale. You can use flat kale, whatever you want. But I'm just gonna tear it off because I really do not want this tough rib or stem to the kale. I'm just gonna peel off the leaves. And for the most part, this is what you're left with. Ugh, I don't like that. And what I'm gonna do here is just do a rough cut. Even though this will cook down, I definitely don't want the big, leafy kale pieces in the soup. Just want them like bite sizes. So I'm just gonna do a rough cup, rough cup. Oh my goodness, rough cut here before I add it to the soup. 
And like I said, I already added, uh, what is it? Six cups of the broth in there. And once you add this, you know, give or take, you might, you know, feel like you need a little bit more. So go ahead. I think the kale is getting caught on my sweater. So I'm just going to see about any other big pieces here that I missed. And so this is probably about maybe two cups of kale. You can add less, you can add more. Spinach would go well in here too. I definitely would add that right be about five minutes before you're ready to serve because obviously spinach, you know, cooks and wilts a lot quicker than kale may. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna put this in a bowl here. So I can take it on over to the stove without <laughs> dumping all of it on the floor. That would not be good. So we're making minestrone soup in Amy's little kitchen. You can check out my YouTube channel, find other recipes and videos over there. In fact, I just made my chicken tortilla soup the other night, which was fabulous. And hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. So let's head on over to the stove. Okay, we've got our kale chopped up. And I have this on the lowest speed and it's still kind of boiling a little bit. But it's on simmer. Look at this. Oh my goodness. All this lusciousness. Do you see that? <gasps> Yum. I'm going to give it a taste after. I'm going to go ahead and add in the little bit of zucchini that I have here. Get that cooking a little bit more. And like I said, I went ahead and sauteed a lot of my vegetables. Oops. One escaped. Because, I don't know, I just like them sauteed a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of pasta because I feel like it. I could have added in another carrot. This is a lot of soup. Uh, so I think I added in three carrots or two and a half. I would definitely add three to four. But, you know, this is minestrone soup, so it really depends on what you like. But it definitely needs vegetables. Veg vegetables. Sometimes when I'm making soup and I say vegetables, it always reminds me of that I Love Lucy show, Vitamix. I don't know why, don't ask me why, it just does. Oh yeah, this is, this is good. And if I do add pasta into this, it's not gonna be a lot. Just enough to, when you look in that spoon, that bite size spoonful, you might get a little zucchini, you might get a little bit of the beans, a little mushroom, a little bit of the parrot, uh, carrot or potatoes or a little bit of kale, peppers. Oh yeah, this is good. Okay, let me give it a taste though. It's been cooking here for about an hour or more. You know what else I might add to this? I'm not sure. Did I do it the last time? I might add in just a dash of Worcestershire sauce. I really like the bay leaf in here too. That really just, just added a hint. <coughs> I didn't have any uh, uh, basil, dried basil, but if I did, I would have added that in here too. Okay, I'm gonna add in just a couple sprinkle of Worcestershire sauce. And then if you even wanted it a little bit of heat, uh, just, a, just a dash of red pepper flakes. Oh yeah, this looks good. Okay. 
We're almost ready to, we're almost ready to go. Now, because some of us may want a little bit of chicken, I'm gonna cook chicken on the side, and if people want, they can add it into their soup. Minestrone. Okay, here's my kale soup. Oh, full of veggies, I love it. Hopefully everyone else will too. And I think it's seasoned well. So we're almost done. Okay, well, I did another boo-boo again and I consider it that I'm not starting off the new year on the best of high notes, but the one thing that is really great is that I can always uh, come back and give you an ending to one of my recipes. So I made minestrone soup for Jacob and Izzy about a week or two ago and realized I did not have an ending to this video. But I do want to tell you, minestrone soup I love. You can use frozen vegetables. I would prefer frozen vegetables or fresh out of just dumping a whole everything can orientated. Um, but I did add corn in here, obviously a can, but you can use frozen. Um, but it's just full of just those good vegetables. You could even add chickpeas in here. Uh, I added some kidney beans, uh, some white beans, um, carrots, onions, all the, the three basics that usually fall into any soup, celery and stuff like that. But they loved it. It was so good. And I'm really trying to come up with some um, good, I guess, vegetarian dishes. Uh, because Jacob and Izzy live so close to me. Jeremy and Audrey live close to me. I can't give uh, my food to uh, Zachary and Tori as often, but when I do, I'm just so thankful that they enjoy it and like it. So anyway, this is minestrone soup. Nice, warm, hot, full of richness, good veggies. I mean, if you want to think that you're getting enough of your veggies, give this a try. We've got a little bit of kale, or you could put spinach in it. I mean, minestrone soup is what vegetables do you want to put in it? Um, I used a vegetable broth, but you can definitely use a chicken or a beef broth. But I think when you're going with vegetables, all vegetables, I think vegetable broth is best. But anyway, mm, look at that. Look at the little kidney beans and carrots. And see, look at all that. Oh, so much goodness in this. One little bowl. Mm. You can use pasta instead of potatoes, or like I said, make minestrone soup your own. This is my version of it. So check out my YouTube channel at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen, and I hope you should subscribe. Check out all the other recipes that I'll continue to put over there and the video and the recipes. So from my kitchen to yours, I'm Amy Roloff, my little kitchen.